20 years ago, 1997, was five years after the federal government called the moratorium on the northern cod. More than 30,000 people were thrown out of work in the inshore fishery and fish processing industry in Newfoundland. It was like kind of the cultural heart of rural Newfoundland was broken. And I had been fishing up until that time. I was on the water on July 2nd, 1992. And like many people who were engaged in one way or another with the fishery, I was, you know, I was paralyzed. So it took me five years to make work about fishing again. In 1997, I was invited by the Southern Alberta Art Gallery to do a residency south of Lethbridge, Alberta, a site-specific work on a wheat farm. So I found uh, the last 300 cotton flower bags that we could locate. I worked with farm women out there during my residency, and together we sewed 150 fish-shaped wind socks. I did sewing workshops at the art gallery and stuff. So about nine, maybe nine or ten farm women helped me sew them. And I installed them on three lines over a field of winter wheat on Ike and Diana Lanier's farm south of Lethbridge, Alberta. And they flew for nine months. So I always, I held those other 150 flower bags in my shed, in my studio, all this time waiting to do the Newfoundland side, to call the fish back home. So when the Biennale curators came to me and said, you know, there's an opportunity to do some outdoor work. Um, is there anything you'd like to do? As part of my practice, I said, oh, yes, there is. 20 years after Southern Alberta and 25 years to the year from the Cod Moratorium. So um, I pulled those 150 flower bags out of my shed and sent an email to my friends who accused me of hoarding and said, ha, ha, see, I'm using them finally. And um, so here they are.